G'day, this is Trent from Pipi Tarot, and today we're going to do uh, a basic Unity tutorial on how to implement singletons uh, in your project. There's many ways to approach singletons in the singleton pattern, uh, but we're going to be looking at a really quick and simple way, and I find that this is um, my favorite way and the best way, uh, especially for game development and prototyping, and people that uh, maybe haven't been programming very long. Uh, this is something I wish I'd learned a lot earlier uh, when I was doing prototyping and, and first uh, making games because uh, I find uh, it's an invaluable uh, little tip, little skill to have. Okay, I'll explain uh, I guess as we're going along what a singleton is and how it really can be beneficial. A singleton can really simplify and organize our classes and functions as opposed to having um, really similar functions spread across lots of different um, objects in a Unity scene, so it will save us a lot of time and effort in the long run. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, start in a brand new Unity project, is we're going to create three uh, three scripts uh, for our example today, and we're going to do that in C Sharp. So our first one we'll call Main Game Manager. This is going to be our singleton class. We'll create a player controller and we'll also create an enemy controller. Now these are just for example the class, uh, the main class that we're looking at today is the the main game manager and you can name it whatever you want of course um, but this is going to be our singleton. So let's open up in mono develop so the first thing we need to do to turn this, this class of main game manager into a singleton is to make a public static main game manager uh, member. So we're taking the very class that we're using and we're saying let's make this a static member and we're going to call it instance. And so what this is going to do is this is going to create um, one instance of this class in our Unity scene. And that means we don't use main game manager more than once, and it means we can access it um, from other scripts or from other objects. Uh, but in order to do that, we can't just um, declare our member, we have to initialize it. So we're going to use Unity's awake function. Um, and this is important because if we um, declare it in an awake, it'll then be accessible in all our other scripts um, from, the, from the start of the game, from the start function. So awake uh, is done and initialized before anything else um, in our script uh, is initialized, uh, such as start and update. And so all we need to do is say instance equals this. So essentially what we're doing is we're, we're telling Unity uh, on awake um, when we compile this um, class, uh, make this instance of the class um, the only instance um, that we want to be accessible statically across um, the system. And that'll make a little bit more sense as we go along. And we'll just delete update because we're not going to need that and we probably won't need start. So, now that we've made this class um, available to uh, other classes and objects to use, we need to put some sort of functionality in there. So we're going to do that by making some public methods. Um, so we'll just call this one public void, we're not returning it, and we'll say adjust score. So I think adjusting scores is a great example on how to use, how to make use um, of a singleton class. Because uh, this way um, we'll see in a second that our player and enemy can adjust the score at the same time or at any time they want and they don't need their own uh, logic to do it. They can just ask the, the one instance of main game manager to do it for them. And we'll just take a num in there. And let's give ourselves a score to actually change. So we'll just call it current score. And we'll say current score um, equals current score plus none. 
or we could have used plus equals, but we'll just keep it simple. All right, now let's quickly just do uh, a bit of GUI so that we can um, actually see. Oh. Don't mind me. There we go. So that we can see our score. So we'll just create a label. And I'll just chuck that in the corner. We've got a new rec. Yeah. I'll make it 100, give ourselves enough nice room, and we'll put our content, we'll give it a bit of a heading, so we'll say score equals space and plus current score. Okay, that looks all good. All right, let's go back to Unity. Okay, so we're going to need to create some objects in our scene. So we'll just create a blank empty object. This can be our main game manager object. And we're going to add the class main game manager to that object. And now it's important to only have one instance of this script in your scene. If you have more, then you're not going to um, make use of the singleton in the way that you're trying. You're going to end up um, referring to the wrong one or you're only going to refer to one of them at a time. So we just want to have it on the one object in the scene. So that's our main game manager. If we hit play, we should have our now score there of zero at the moment. So right now we have a score, it's not doing anything, and we have a function that is ready to be used um, by other objects. So let's create our dummy objects. We'll create our player. And let's also create our enemy. And on our player, we'll put our player script. And on our enemy, we'll put our enemy script. So we'll open up player and we'll open up enemy. We have them both open here. Now, we'll just do something really simple at the beginning, uh, but this could be used at any time during your game when a player attacks or does something and you want to adjust the score or they collect something. But just for an, as an example today, uh, to use our singleton class, we look for our class, main game manager. Then we look for our static member, which is instance. And then now we have access uh, to all of the available um, public uh, methods and members in that class. And the only one we're going to be interested in right now is our adjust score. So we'll do adjust score and we'll give ourselves a thousand points because we did something awesome. Um, oh, that's been in our enemy. So we'll get our enemy, sorry, to minus a thousand points and we'll. Let's just copy that and we'll go to our player and our player has gotten himself, let's say he got himself 2,300 points. Great, so we'll save those. We'll go back to our game and we'll start our game and let's see what happened. And there we have it. We have our score equals 1,300. Uh, so we're, what's happened is our enemy controller has talked to our our main game manager instance and minus a thousand for the enemy and added 2300 for the player. So I hope you can see how that works. You can um, make this far more complex than it is. Um, but the, the core idea is about having a centralized class in your scene, um, putting all your, your members and variables uh, in there and only having that one instance of it and making it accessible across Unity. Uh, except probably in your plugins folder is going to be where you'll run into issues. Uh, but that's it for me. Uh, I hope you found this an informative little tip tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye.